Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yeah, my vlog has been an incredible thing in my life that and I'm just really happy that I've reached 100,000 views and I'm currently on like 150 something now which is amazing. That leads me on to my next point, visiting Lincoln and when I went to see it, it ticked all the boxes for me honestly. Now that's my first choice for uni and I'm going in September if I get my grades and I just think last year was a massive learning curve for me and it's made me into a better person. Outfits of the day. The outfit of the day. I've got a man's t-shirt on. I think it's my dad's. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I'm so so proud of you you've completely smashed 2017 you've done amazing in terms of YouTube and your blog and you should be so so proud of yourself I'm so privileged to actually know you as a person you're so lovely so kind and you deserve everything that you've got and more and you're going to completely smash 2018 I am working with Dermalogica and Preen Me. I am off to go get my skin analysed. Um, um, and what I noticed quite a lot around here was milliers yeah. under the skin. So kind of if you're, say like if you work out or you're walking and you're sweating, it can be like trapped oil under the skin. Card. Look how pretty it is. Hey. Right, so I just got ready for bad midterm. I'm just wearing like a chill top. I decided to get a mini egg one this time, which is a bit different. I think they've brought all of like the Easter um, flavor. And Sophie's got a red nose, all ready for red nose day. exciting collaboration I've ever done okay I just realized that okay so I just realized that last clip was like really zoomed into my face <laughs> yay I had my dance exam today but everything went really smoothly um... Me and A 
made in our at Salsi Forest. I'm currently doing this woodpecker trail, which is like a six mile walk. And I'm back vlogging. I just need to sort my life out, really. Me and Megan are out for a lovely jog. Today, I'm just about to head to the library again. This will really enlighten people if people actually watch it and maybe actually tell people that what they say can actually affect someone. Like, even if it's just one stupid little comment, I've heard so many people, like I've watched so many videos already about the series. Every little thing counts and it builds up and I can relate to that so much. Like last year, so many big things happened and then when something small and minor happened, everything would just completely explode. But it can really, really affect someone's life and it can make everything spiral and spiral and all this negativity builds up inside someone so much that they don't even want to be on earth anymore. And I think it's so sad that people who you spend your lives with every day can make you feel that way. Especially like in a school environment. It, artificial and so intense that you just it, everything's just too overwhelming like I literally hate school now because everyone just makes me feel really small and everyone seems so close-minded and don't think about all these little things that can influence someone's life get that away she bought these, these little bad guys. boys these little go on my son you know, I've got crap, I've got crap. <laughs> <laughs> my toes will never be on YouTube All I've done today is revision. It, I think it went well. I kind of like kept stumbling on my words because I was like nervous. Up there, and I am currently in this position, just about to start some biology revision as usual. Pop my eyebrows on so I feel human. I've just checked my blog because I've just been um, writing a post and I have hit 200,000 views. 200,000 people have read my blog. I love sharing my thoughts and things I love through writing. Uh, it's one of my passions and yeah, it's really hard at a time like this to keep uploading and publishing as well as revising. So I'm actually happy with how much content I've been uploading and how consistent it's been recently. Uh, obviously my youtube's going a bit slower but that's that's fine like i enjoy making videos so it's not really a massive issue for me I'd just like to say how really, really proud I am of you for what you've achieved in 2017. It hasn't been the easiest of times for you when you were at school, for instance, but you kept going, worked really, really hard and achieved some really good grades to be able to get into university. Now, since you've been to uni, you've become a more confident and independent person. You love your course and I know your vlogging and your blogging, your subscribers has grown and grown and you're really enjoying doing that along with your uni work. I know you've got a nice little network of friends there and you're having a great time at uni. So I know you'll go on to achieve some great things in 2018. Keep going Charlotte and carry on being that lovely person that you've grown into since you've left school. Love you and miss you loads. Today I'm here with Sophie. Hi Charlotte, it's Ellie Rose here. I wanted to say a huge congrats on your YouTube channel in the past year of 2017. You have done incredible. Honestly, to reach a K subscribers I think is just amazing in general and honestly, you are so beautiful, so kind and you deserve every single one of them subscribers. So definitely a huge congratulations. Also, I love your fashion videos so I hope I see more of them in 2018 and I can definitely see a big future for you. So yeah, I love you so much. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>
and I've literally written down everything that's going to happen in the day, like whether it's social stuff, school stuff, or things that I need to do just generally. home from work I've literally had such a good day because I finished an hour early so I've only worked for 11 hours yeah. you look good Go! no no because you know we said we wanted to go spa in the summer yeah. I'll put like if I pay for it I'll be like so Yeah, I'm just chilling in this University of Lincoln hoodie. It's actually not the one that I got sent. This is one that Sophie gave me. I literally came out my exam and I was like, hold the tears in. And I just had a little bit of a cry in the car on the way home because I thought it was awful. <laughs> Charlotte's just picked me up from work and we're stuck in traffic. Like, really bad traffic. Whoa, these people are like throwing them. Hello, can I have a large chicken select meal with a Diet Coke, please? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to prop those there. <laughs> You're finally filming. <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> yes. Basically, I've just got ready because me and Sophie are going to a Maybelline event in London. Third time now, oh. had it again with the white vans. <laughs> yeah, so if you're looking for a cheap alternative to the palette, head on over to my eBay. channel and check your well, yeah. <laughs> I'm back with this. Wow. Still staring at the weird 
I'm just very worried about it because I just don't like people like coming up in my face. Um, I'm really, really scared now. I'm really scared. Yeah, definitely. We've just come out of the asylum and I'm feeling very, very shaky because it was terrifying. Like I'm not joking, this has been the worst day of my life. <laughs> yeah, we were finally here, we've got our wristbands on for our weekend thing. I had to put my glasses on because we literally couldn't see the tickets on, I was like... both of our yeah, crowns they're like I'm both really so different I feel like they're both us like I'm yeah. just extra and I'm you've just orange. gone for orange <laughs> everything I do to do with beauty is orange <laughs> Hello, 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 Hello. so we recorded a video and David deleted it me and Aiden are just off to go and collect our results from school we've already had an email this morning saying that we've both got our first choices at university and I am pretty happy with them like nine out of ten i'm happy with them because i'm going to university with them and they're amazing so i got an a in dance i got a b in biology in my exam but i've got c overall so it's kind of like mm. Mine was the bears and the and the monkeys. All right. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, David, say, oh wow. That's a funny color one. Today, me and Aiden are off to Wales. We've been sent there by Zip World themselves, and basically, I'm going to review the experience on my blog. It Hi, Sha. I just want to say how proud I am of your channel and blog and how much you've progressed. You've also come so much more confident in yourself, and allowed, this has allowed you to film in public. You, I'm immensely proud of you and you've also allowed me to start my own channel and gave me loads of confidence. I know this year's been good for you, but I know 2018 will be an even better year for you. Love you. Aiden kindly drove us all the way to Chelmsford for a exciting benefit event. Me and Megan are just in the benefit toilets and they're so cute, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. They've got like loads of cute stickers on the walls. <laughs> it's my birthday! Um, but I've just got to my final present from Aiden and he's written 12 letters. I'm opening them one by one and apparently there's a clue in each one and it gets like easier as it goes along and then the 12th one will reveal the actual present. I'm not, I literally have no idea what this is.
I'm completely moving house today and that's really bizarre. I'm really excited to just meet my flatmates and hopefully we all get on well. We're finally into the room after all of the traffic. We're gonna go head down to where the spoons are. I'm ready. I'm so excited to go out for the first time. And I'm just on my way for my forensic science social. I'm so excited. Yeah, I ended up bringing my cake back because I couldn't finish it all off. Megan's just doing her makeup and then we're all gonna go out for our last big night before our lectures start on Monday. <laughs> memory of my freshers week and also like bonding with one of my flatmates. I've just hit a thousand subscribers on my main channel and I'm literally so happy. Like, I don't think anyone else cares, but I'm like, silly buddy. All of these dates are before Christmas, all the ones that I've crossed off are things that I've already completed. This is happy, the little cane, cute. Look like Christmas. I asked a quick message to my lovely daughter Charlotte, just to say that I've been proud of you the whole of my life, ever since I first held you looking out the window at St George's Hospital, and all your achievements you gained throughout your life so far. Especially this year, this year has been very hard. I know because you've had a torrid time at school and especially at the start of the year with no biology teacher, virtually having to do most of the work at home because you were not wanting to go to school at the finish. It shows how much you've actually achieved by going through all that and the results you got in your A-levels. And I'm so proud that you've gone to university, but even more proud that you've changed your life around especially in the last few months since you've gone. It's nice to see how happy you are now and that you've made new friends at university and that you're still with Aidan, which I know means so much to both of you. Just once again to say, 
especially this year, how proud I am of you. And I hope that your rest of your life will be happy, that you get your degree, have a career in what you want, and hopefully end up in silent witness, and then I'll be out of retire. Thanks very much. I love you. Good morning. So me and Aiden are just on our way to the Natural History Museum. We've been out this morning and taken some photos of my vlog because Aiden's my photographer. My mum, my brother and my cousin Charlotte's 2017 video. To end 2017. Oh my god. Is it, oh my god. <laughs> this is so exciting. Ah! <laughs> How cute. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. <laughs> so he's yeah. asked me to be her, one of her bridesmaids. <laughs> no, that's so cute. What the hell? I'm part of Team Bride. <laughs> oh my god. This is such a good end to 2017. <laughs> 
Oh, it's okay. Oh, how cute. How cute. the first one. Shit. 